This is a West Side of Wetler legend. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I remember you saying you hadn't streamed in a while in Cornell and I popped in for the first time. Yeah, I mean, like, literally, like, it's crazy that you guys of all people showed up because you've still been kind of fucking hanging around, which is great. Um, but yeah, like, I, I was, I was basically not talking to anyone. I don't know if anyone else in here is, um, I don't know if anyone else in here is from before then ish. Um, but yeah, it was like, I, I, I streamed like literally once or twice a month trying to kind of figure things out. And then I would make like a little video and I made the shad video all the way back, like the four months ago or whatever. And, um, forgot about it. I kept getting emails where it was just like, Hey, people are commenting. And I'm like, no one's talking on the fucking podcast channel. It's an abandoned channel. I don't, I, I post stuff there, but I don't like, who the fuck is it? And I would look, I'm like, there's nothing there. And I turned back on the YouTube and everyone's just like, talking mad shit to each other about Shadiversity. I was like, what the fuck is this? And so that kind of gave me the, uh, the the impetus to try again. Because I was like, how the fuck does this video have 1.2 thousand views and I had like 28 fucking subs at the time or something like that? I think when you guys joined, I didn't even have 50 yet. I know I didn't have three digits. Because I remember putting the road to a thousand subscribers thing up there and being like, this big sad. This is never going to happen. But hey, we've gained like almost 200 subs since then. That's fucking awesome. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I've never seen a starting channel like this, to be honest. But you're consistently growing and making engaging content. I'm not leaving. Thanks, Cornell. Uh, weirdly still got funneled because of shared content, though. Yeah, I know. I I've got to figure out some other people to talk about, too. I just don't want to be one of those guys that, like, does talk about all the same stuff. But, like, it, unironically, like, he keeps drawing me back. And it's not even just for numbers. I don't know if you guys saw in the Discord the thing that he posted about his, like, competition that basically boils down to, like, can you make a literal carbon copy of this thing that's a literal carbon copy of other things? <laughs> like, are you out of your fucking mind? It's the weirdest art competition ever. Can you all just draw the exact same thing without having any sort of individualism put into it? I, I just, I'm not going to talk about it right now. I want to talk about it on stream tomorrow. But it is... It's fucking insanity. Like, I don't understand. If, if, is he doing it for me? Like, did he? Is it Shad, are you in the fucking stream right now? Are you watching back through the VODs and you're like, you're, you're Jesus Christ to me? And you're like, eat of my body. Eat of my flesh. All right? Because I want, I want to see you grow. He's just holding me. Like, just suckle, little baby, and grow strong. I love your content. I will destroy myself for you. <laughs> it's what it feels like. It's almost like if I don't fucking make fun of him, I'd be like, hey, yeah, my channel kind of stopped growing because I stopped making fun of this absolute mole cow. Did other people keep making fun of him and talking shit about it? And like, he, he deserved it? Like, yeah, he absolutely deserved it. He was like a fucking completely unself aware dickhead. Like, just a, an absolute fucking asshole about it, too, the entire time. Like, he was like a completely unredeemable, like, unfat, like, not only unredeemable, like, demanding to not be considered for redemption because he thought he was so unwrong okay man i guess i'll make another video you're gonna fucking break my arm twisting it but anyway we're going back to uh lies of p hopefully this is a good i had enough pause there so this is just for the uh the let's play chunks did any of you guys get a chance to uh watch the intro to the let's play or, or look at the uh <laughs> the uh the thumbnail i made it's in the discord or the song I threw it all- oh god damn. Donkey, yes. I threw it all together like really quick yesterday. Um, but I thought it was pretty funny. So enjoying it, I decided to uh, to share it. And then that's going to be up there now. What if I missed any stuff back here? Well, I, I kind of want to just go back to the... I don't want to just go back to this area because it was so fucking fun. I need to check out the song. Yeah, it's only like 15 seconds. I haven't dropped in the Discord in a few days. Well, thanks, Shep. That's all right. Um, if I didn't have my own Discord, I can barely, like, make myself go look at other people's. It's not because, like, they're not good or anything. It's just, uh... I need the Discord to be, like, 100%, like, on my vibe, or it's just not the kind of thing that I generally would, like, be looking at. But it is the kind of thing that, like, people that like the kind of stuff that I make are exceptionally interested in. 
and like to like follow along. You know, I don't know how to just say it. It's like I don't, I don't know judging or anything. I just um, like I have a bunch of discords that I'm in, and I kind of just sort of check them here and there. Even the ones where I have a bunch of people who are like, "Hey, man, I remember you." That aren't like my specific thing. Oh, he is gone. That was a boss that I fought. It's the guy that fell out of this gigantic box. I can't remember what else I was gonna say, but like, yeah, in a, in a general sense, Discord, Discord fun, Discord good, but also I get why people don't like fuck around to them all the time, and it's fine. My biggest, my biggest thing is like, and it's for this, and it's for my podcast as well. Um, is I, I don't want to have to be entertaining all the time, but I know that's like my responsibility is to create an entertaining environment. So I just want to get enough people in here that you all can talk amongst yourselves too. Because I feel like if I'm if I'm not like, you know, one of those you know, brain dead asshole streamers, you know, like the fucking um, just like dickhead types. Uh, I don't know how to, I don't, I don't want people just to assume. Just like, you know, fucking like a Jake Paul, you know, or something. Or just the kind of guys that, you know, the folks that we don't want to be hanging around with. I want like a nice community of people who enjoy my stuff and I can hang out with like a little bit and like hear, talk about things and like improve so to say by like you know engaging with stuff and they'll just like have a nice time that's what i want. and then you guys will talk to each other and then like hang out with each other too which is like you know a real mark of success like hey i made a com i made a community that can exist without me and doesn't like require me to like you know babysit it so to say to keep stoking the fire that's like that's what i always want Tyler, what is the what is the name of what in the name of Noisia is that pace? How did you make that? It's so cool. Um, the base is uh, literally just Boo Base. The actual like base base is Boo Base on uh, FL Studio, which is like the basic plugin. I think I pulled out. Um, how did I make that? I have on my I'm trying to just remember off the top of my head, which isn't always the easiest thing to do. Do I want to? Can you? Can I beat? Beat you in here, um, but it's boo base. I ran it through. Uh, I ran it through doo -doo -doo Maximus. I think I stripped out the mids, or no, no, I, I stripped out the high of it, and then it's in a um, stop. Damn it! It's in a uh, a little bit of reverb on it. Probably I can run. I can run over that um, on a different stream or something. I'll tell you guys how to I make shit. If you guys ever have any questions about like how do you make this? Even if it's something stupid like a uh, a Photoshop or something. If I don't even remember on the next stream, just try to remind me, and I'll always just like pull that shit up. Unless it's fucking lies of P time. Femboy time comes first. Femboy game is self care. Are you still fuck seriously? Damn it. This is... What is it? What is it? Fuck. Fuck you. Jesus Christ. Sorry, I had to stop talking. I can't even remember what I was talking about. That guy fucked me up so bad. Whew. Yo, okay. 
I thought you used some fancy schmancy oil drum reverb and compressed it and lowered it in pitch. Shad has a lot of anti bullshittery. Shad has a lot of anti fans doing his bullshittery. Fuck yeah. I don't know why I, re I repeated myself like that. Um, no, no. Uh, but also the bass is um, played at the same time as the uh, bass drum from the. Uh... Oh fuck! Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here! Shut up, you bitches! Sorry. The bass is played at the same time as the uh, kick drum that I've got. The kick drum has a uh, a reverb, a spring reverb on it, and uh, they're they're like right around the same tone, and so they sound like they're the same. They really play off of each other very well. Just a little bit of layering, so they do sound mixed. The uh, the actual kick and the drums are run through distortion. They're actually run through uh, one of the presets, a modified version of one of the presets. So it's like filter uh, on, on, on the, the, the fru fruity disruptor or whatever, the, the, the four distortion pedal thing. And it goes filter, filter chorus, filter chorus overdrive filter. And so, uh, kind of like mutes it to where I want and then I get the chorus out of it which kind of widens the sound of the drums a little bit and then you get the overdrive which I wanted to give it that kind of like blah, 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 you know that fucking noise that sounded cool um, that like weird noise on top of it and then um, that's all it all ends in a spring reverb which I just I love spring reverb I don't know it's like almost if I had a calling card it would maybe be um, putting random spring reverb on uh, on like snares and, and percussion because it just gets this like little and I love it. Shad has a lot of anti fans. Oh no, wait, fuck, that's the same thing. I, I'm gonna read that same comment five times. I thought something popped up, but it's just my stupid bot. Did I miss something, or did I just go back there for that fucking rainbow, for that fucking butterfly? 15 years of being a producer, I've never heard such a good sound quality from someone only using FL plugins. Color me impressed. Oh, thank you. Big ship. Hey, Alright, I probably gotta head out for the night. It was a good time. See y'all. I thought you already left. But I'm glad, I'm glad. Thanks for saying goodbye on your way out. God bless. Yeah, I try to make the most as I most I can out of out of the plugins. I think a lot of it comes to I mean I have like a, a like a musical background, as in I took fucking jazz band in high school, you know. So like I'm fucking like like a little bit of a jazzy nerd, and I know how to layer stuff. It's probably like my biggest things that I can do, but I I, I consider my production pretty fucking basic, uh, and I try not to get hyper fancy. Usually every time I try to get really fancy and very impressive and stuff, then I start fucking up. And then I use just a lot of a lot of automation to kind of breathe life into it, and then you, you get what you get at the end. Keep playing these cool games. Oh my god, absolutely. I fucking love them. I respect people that play, like, the shit games, like, oh no, man, I want to fucking smash my face in because I've got to play another five hours of, I don't know, Danganropa. I don't know. I think Danganropa is actually a good game. Sorry, all those Danganropa fans. Uh, just like a notoriously bad game. Oh, it's miserable the whole time. Oh, I'm so angry. Which I get, but like, I play games because I enjoy them, and I don't have enough time to like play ass games. Punch five. Boom. I'm an idiot. But I love I love I love them, love, love. This fucking guy, though. The problem right now is I don't have the shit to fight. I don't know if I have like the ability to resist that guy and fight him. Cause I've got that all that stuff down there is like ultra poison. So shock, break, and disruption, corruption. Attribute resistance. So yes. moves and resists. Don't really need that. Let's 
so I've got pretty much full life, and I can just run back up here at any time. I think I can take this guy out. I don't know why I think that, but I think I can. If I get back and forth, in and out of the corruption, That builds it a lot slower. Oh, he got me? Oh, no way. No way. Oh. the donkey face yes i think you breathe horror straight through the sequencer dude <laughs> to, to that to me that is pretty schmancy i i can't help it it's fucking insane like i try to be funny i swear to god i'm trying to be like funny and approachable sometimes and like just kind of like hey man you know tongue in cheek and then i'll show people stuff i'm like yeah and they're like this is one of the most horrifying things i've ever seen i didn't do it on purpose <laughs> it is like, I, I, I think that the uh, the little title I made for the Lies of P thing, I was like, that's kind of funny to me. And then like, I kind of looked at it later. And I was like, this looks like I'm fucking gonna murder Pinocchio and wear his fucking skin, <laughs> which is also pretty funny to me. I don't. Know. So yeah, this is like industrial runoff, by the way. That's like the point of it. I'm gonna have to go buy additional shit to fight this guy. If I don't kill him this time. Damn.
gonna have to back up, go over here, so I don't get corrupted, because it is like seriously bad. Stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Gotta get out, gotta get out, gotta get out. Shit! Make one fucking mistake, man. Oh, I'm dead. Can't do this now. Fuck me. That was it. Oh, I gotta fucking come back. 2 poison swamp and a sewer level, and meanwhile they're trying to tease it being destroyed as a demolition bot. To me it looked like you were having too much blood pumping out of Femboy Cuteness. Don't worry, there's still multi interpolability <laughs> Yeah, I gotta fucking- I gotta get something that has a little bit more resistance to corruption, because I just didn't even have enough total, like, things to resist the amount of time I was down there and then make even a single mistake. push me like ultimate like sneak and just push me right in front of the thing as I unlocked it. Are you the one that's doing it guy? Hey bud, that was fuck fucking fucked up of you to do that. Who do you think you are? Glad I blocked that because I think that did a shit load of damage. I get for this? Came all this way. Fire, axe, blade, and handle. Sick. I would have never come up with this disposal system. It reminds me too much of dung beetles. <laughs> Fire dung beetle. Are you guys enemies? I'm not gonna go talk to you guys, because you guys look like you might want to fucking scrap. Does this just link this area up? This gets rid of all the poison, I'm gonna be fucking furious. Oh, fantastic. The pipe fit like a glove. Well, 
like a pipe <laughs> that fit idioms, you know? Venigni is a jerk. I want to make as much as Venigni's butler puppet does. <laughs> Puppets get paid. Ah, all right, Venigni. Pull yourself together. Are you up there? He's just like right there, little bastard. <coughs> Caution, acid. Don't melt your fingers, it says. Well, buddy, I'll try not to. Just looking at this little hidden moonstone. I guess that one thing serves as a... Stargazer activated. Look at this fire axe. CNC technique. I like my booster glaive. Booster glaive hand. Gather your strength for a powerful slash attack. Hold the attack button to trigger. Oh, that's right. It's that supercharge. I should use that against that thing. Oh, easy now. No need to kill me. Sure. Hold on. I, I'm, uh, I'm fine. Please, help me find my butler, Pulcinella. Jesus Christ. He's a puppet and a friend. Those stalkers were supposed to be working for me, but... My butler went to barricade the back door, and I haven't seen him since. The factory is, of course, my priority. Fear. <laughs> I learned fear. Absolutely amazing. Bro is on fire. I can't go. Can I go? Wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh. Oh. oh, I finally got a technique crank. Wow. coming I knew it was coming I knew it was gonna happen I knew it I was having too good of a time I found a thing that I've been looking for I smiled my heart felt joy fucking dead I'm really walking around looking like a jackass in this donkey mask sad for you Yeah. Descartes notes. Descartes notes. The puppet cannot refuse the Grand Covenant imprinted upon manufacture. It must obey the creator's orders and cannot harm humans. But look at that puppet that was once called Fuoco. Is the Grand Covenant flawed? The once faithful, faithful puppet now kills humans. It creates puppets instead of fire. It obeys something else other than the humans. It's as if someone is controlling it or it has a mind of its own. As if there's a king of puppets somewhere. Is it pretending to be human? Is it a simple defect? This requires further investigation. It's surprising. Fuoco's actions were not simple obedience, but faith. Fuoco worships something as God. I heard there's the king of puppets on Rosa Isabel Street. Rosa Isabel Street. That must be what is controlling the puppets of Krat. But a puppet having a human ego is a problem from another dimension. 
There is still a puppet secret that I don't know about. Ergo is probably the key. But those guys are awakening like humans more quickly as days go by. Someone has to stop them before it's too late. For the sake of all humans. And stuff I fucking ran out of earlier. I feel like there should be something else over here, though. I, I made this big jump. He's, he's pretty hardcore. I got killed. I got hit by the back. For the, by, I got hit from the back by another puppet. So irritating. I just want to fight the cool guy. Gotta go around. Oh, that's probably why you can go up there. You gotta go kill all those guys, and then you can and then you can deign to fight the guy on the ground. Overheat. I didn't think you would come up the stairs. My god, I am getting fucking obliterated by these stupid assholes and their fireball cans. It is so frustrating. This is not a space for my big fucking grave. It is for rapier time. Oh, that's kind of clever. If you're on fire because of overheat, you can roll to put yourself out. Or you can just also just take a fucking hit right to the face and die. You can also just do that. Also just get fucking absolutely schooled by a guy with literally no brain. God damn it. Ah, what a neat, interesting effect. You are now dead. Isn't that wonderful?
Damn. Oh, I thought I blocked that, but I didn't. Oh, I should... My juice. Fuck. Fuck. I pulled that one out of the fucking. I, I I fucking pulled that one right out of the end there, buddy. And a heal, thank you. Jesus, that guy kicked my fucking ass the whole time. I love the glaive. I don't know if you're here when we pick the glaive up, but it's a premium. Right now. Attribute resistance ample. I'm gonna go kill that guy. Because I don't like that he exists. The thing really is just super cool. Hooray for Donkey Boy. Very much so. Donkey Boy is king. Boss fight. I might as well go back to the uh, thing and level my shit up before I go in there. Oh, also, I think I picked up. I uh, only got two amulets. Oh, now I'm slightly heavy. Resistance to overheat. Physical damage better. So this is electric resistance. This is overheat. It's probably good when the place is completely fucking on fire. Shot cartridge. Cool. And I still haven't gotten a piece of uh, liner yet. That other fight anyway. Before all this, I'm told is how did this? Before all this, I'm told how did this night? Going to the hotel. Shout out whoever tries to fucking no hit this piece of shit. Darva. Done in one. Why are you up there? I'll use my power to help you.
chain. Oh yeah, and I can also go in the other way and talk to the cool people. I definitely want to level my shit up before I fuck with them. Because they might kick my ass. I know my way around a weapon. the technique on this. It just makes it like perfect for my build. I thought it would make a cool like or something like that because it's like a crank but it didn't crank anything. It didn't even crank that soldier boy. <sighs> upgrade weapon. How about you? Can you get upgraded? Nope. Hidden. Crescent. No, but my glaive is going to be I wonder if I talk to those people dressed up in their stalkers, if I am in a costume and talk to them, if they'll be like cooler with me. Maybe. Dude, I'm getting donuts for breakfast tomorrow, by the way. I don't know. I know. I'm, I'm saying by the way, like, you guys are expecting information on my breakfast tomorrow. But, like, my wife's, like, got free time right now. So, like, we can go and do breakfast stuff together. Breakfast date kind of shit. Which is the best thing ever. And so we're going to get donuts in the morning. And I'm fucking, I can't stop thinking. If I wake up and it, it's not donut time. That is hitting. Fuck it. You're so fucking creepy. That's a uh, boom. Hidden moonstone attribute resistant. Yeah. Okay, we're fucking these guys up now. I got the glaive, son. It's that's it. You gonna put a new handle on that glaive? No, you goof. You fucking nerd. It's the best already. I can go improve perfection. Oh, I knew it. Feels so cool when I hit people with that thing. You got a little piece in you, bud. Gotta make sure. Dead check. Special purification ample. Doctor's confession. My name is Clark Shore. People call me Dr. Cureall. I intend to confess my sins. I made innumerable medicine sales under the guise of it being a cure-all. At first, even I was sure about my experiment. Early on, the cure was effective in neutralizing the petrification disease. And why would the great alchemist's records be wrong? I know I stole it, but I perfectly followed the manufacturing process. My cure was perfect. But what went wrong? I dare not record what the ones who got treatments turned into. That was literally hell. And when I realized that I was the gatekeeper who opened the doors, I ran away. How can I atone for my sin? I only tried to treat patients and earn a few coins. I'm dying, and this is my penitence. I also have the petrification disease, but I'm not getting the cure. I'd rather turn to stone 
and freeze to death. God, please forgive my terrible sins. Sick, dude. <laughs> if I can do an old dramatic reading, then he's like, Neat, bro. Hey. Hey, what's up? Are you the guy from upstairs? Are you... Did I just read, dramatic read, your voice? For my sins. I must kill more puppets. More. More. Oh, but I have a donkey head on. All what's puppets up? must die. Every single I one. I, I hear the sound of springs inside you. You can't fool me. All puppets must die. Kill the puppets. Surviving is a hell of its own. Woo! Stalker's Promer, Promise, Survivor's oh, Mask. I was afraid to die. Ooh. That guy was pretty dangerous. And I'm pretty bad at blocking. But I got new stuff to equip. Let's see the new costume. Oh, I'm a mouse! Oh, absolutely, yes. Survivor's hunting apparel. Oh my god, I'm the fanciest mouse. The hunting apparel of the survivor. It belonged to the one who forsook his, forsook his oath. When the puppets toppled the tower, the youth fled in fear. He lost his sworn brother and did his name that day and be... And his name that day and became a survivor wandering in hell. Oh, dude, that it that mask goes hard. This is like the second level, and this is one of the best looking uh, outfits I've ever seen in a game like this. Oh, did I already turn that on? Oh, he was just right there, and I opened that door. That's why. He was just hanging out in here. Old nutter. How do you get in there? Doesn't really makes sense, does it? Oh, you just go in here. Not be stupid. Some coffins. Be in line to all parts of the world. Get the most loyal servant. Marvelous Puppet Show Festival. Have you seen this eccentric? Have you seen this eccentric? Hot off the press news this month again. This month's eccentric is Mr. J, a gentleman who caused a stir by marrying a puppet. Is it because the custom-made puppet is so beautifully made, or that Mr. J's peculiarities even he was unaware of suddenly burst? Mr. J fell in love with the maid puppet at first sight, and they got married even in the face of his family's opposition. 
but the lover's secret wedding, wedding faced ruin. The enraged family stormed in. The husband was confused. The puppet bride was greatly damaged. She clearly had a soul. We loved each other. Gentleman Jay, who became his family's headache, still makes the same claims. He's even fixing his bride and redoing the wedding. This tragedy was all made possible because of Kratz's advanced public puppet technology. Let's all listen to our families now. Ha ha. Have the Have you seen this eccentric corner will continue next month. <laughs> Hooray for ornamental mouse boy. Absolutely. I need the rabbit. If there's a rabbit, we we fucking have to we it doesn't matter if they're 10 levels over. We're fucking no hitting. Win clear the rabbit. I desire it. I demand it. It will be mine. You two. Come here, I got I got some ask you. Ooh, admirers seem to follow me everywhere. Fox and a cat. Pleased to see you, my stalker friend. You made it all the way here, unbothered by ruffians. You've got talent. I've never seen you before, but who cares? This may well benefit our former client. Did you catch that subtle whiff of money in the air? You caught us on our return trip. We had to deny his ridiculous request in person just to be sure it wasn't a joke. <laughs> All we could do was laugh. Keep your whiskers up if you're heading in there. He is the richest man in Krat. Or so they say. Who knows? Maybe he's handing out bags of money to lift his spirits. Ha! <laughs> that seems unlikely. No way are we doing that. Well, anyhow, best of luck to you. Are you carrying the latest edition of the Nimi's Landmark Guide? It's the most popular non-fiction work in Crafty. It goes for a premium at the shop, but Maduro might not get his cut. He went missing recently, which of course made that volume more popular than ever. If you can get all three volumes collectors want, bet you can get four. No, bide you're in luck. I have a conscience and a powerful sense of self-preservation. You'll wish you had this, and the price is as buy it from you even though I don't think it's actually worth anything because I'm fucking rich son ripped Vanini's Crot Landmark Guide 3 Rose Estate there's a warning band attached that bears the, er the herring symbol of Crot warning this book has been banned if found please report it to the city reading banned books will result in punishment are you sure you want to read it absolutely some uneven handwriting is here. Oh, that, 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 I got, it's saved. It's saved when I turned the page. You were warned, but you're reading a forbidden book. You're a bad person. Well, you're reading it, so this is what you get. The roses bloom at the Rose Estate. Don't know the rest of it. The end. Reporter Cat. This guide was made with the support of the Red Lobster End. Shut the fuck up. He ripped me. So, have you had time to read it? It's the first volume I wrote, so go easy. <laughs> But it's a shame that the original author went missing, but I fear you misunderstood this commitment. I am willing to sell my newest book for 500. No refunds, of course. <laughs> That's a given. <laughs> Take care, you don't get... <laughs> Take... That guy's such a dick, I love him. Star Fragment, I bet these guys are gonna be gone when I come back. Oh, I didn't even realize there was a second strike off of that. Electrified? Yep. There's a whole area. Oh, that article un unironically sounded like the AI article I got when I inserted that Tyler Hart's Pinocchio into the prompts. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't... Fuck. <laughs> oh. Uh... Oh, whoops. Oh boy. Oh, this is where I was before. 
probably pushing a little too far. I also unequip this. You use the Trinity key. Oh, hey, that's what I got from beating that person early. Oh, that's... F I'm not going in there. It's fucking creepy. And this lets me down to... Oh, where I fought old Thick Boy. This is where, where I got down, so to say, down with the thickness. Attribute resistance ammo. Look at this shit. Why is this in here? Question of the day. Did this factory worker ever think... Come on, man. It's too fast even for me. Did this factory worker ever think he would be destroyed like a puppet? Oh yeah, this is the, the riddle guy. Very strong. Blue Blood's tailcoat and quartz. Ooh. Formal attire of the stalker organization of bastards. The blue tailcoats are the bastards' pride. The bastards who didn't fit in with Krat's ruling class dreamed of overturning the world. They teamed up with the foreign alchemists of the Isle, opening the door to Krat's golden era. Oh, I'm the fanciest mouse. The fanciest mouse that has ever fancied. Equipment. Change your equipment? What? No. Oops. Three, create one. You who opened the door, be one with the great ones. Hmm. Don't know exactly what that means, nor do I feel like I'm supposed to just yet, but... That guy's personality. <laughs> Fucking right. Did you actually make an AI article about Tyler Hart's Pinocchio? Because I'm not gonna lie, I don't want to be interested in it, but I think it might be fucking hilarious. Oh, I almost killed myself falling. Probably just level up. Got all that fucking juice. I should also probably go back to the first area at some point and try to find that telephone again. I quoted the best part in chat two weeks ago. I think at least three people laughed. Oh no. I'll use my power gel. Call to me. I completely forgot about that. I'm so sorry. I know my way around a Turn it Close to you. It was definitely an article about a streamer called Westside Tyler doing an adultery with a fictional character and makes it nuances of dating fictional characters as a real person. <laughs> As you would say, it was wild. <laughs> I always forget that I say things. It's, a, it's the same case with the podcast, too. People start quoting me back. I'm like, you say this thing all the time. Uh, my publishers that I work with are just like, you know you say hell yeah, like, for everything. I'm like, really? Like, yeah. And then I started noticing how often I say hell yeah, and it is fucking constant. Do I get- does any of this give me resistance to fucking getting gross shit on me? 
That's a lot of resistance. Where'd you get that to 10? I think I got enough items to try to fight that thing again. I don't know if I want, I'm going to try it at least one more time. Because I really want to kill it. I don't know why I want to kill it so bad, but I really do. Oh, have I found quartz? Am I supposed to be leveling up the quartz thing? I think I have. I've got one. And a legion caliber. This... A correction device used to modify legion arm found only at the workshop. Legion arm can be modified with the Vanini craft machine. Delicate devices like this require constant maintenance. Well, I should go take that. Activity crank. Fuck. I would have never made that musical choice, but I feel like they intended for me to feel lied to. Apparently, if you if you listen to those, it makes you more human. If you listen to the, uh, the what you call it, all those albums and stuff. I just want to find a bunch of them. There's like slots for like fucking twenty albums. It looks like. Now I've only found the one, so this there must be a ton of game left, or there's like a specific way that you get those. to see what it's like. Can I upgrade it though? Oh, I guess I, I don't have it yet. Why does this weigh more? That was the bass song for that place at this stage. That would be way too intense. It's the first album that you get. I can't remember the circumstances under which I found it, but that's just the case. Of the, that's just the, the matter of things, is that that was the first one. Of course, you were here for this. The, the You know what I'm doing in this chair, right? I'm activating my P organ. No shape memory saved on this device. I still don't understand what that means. You gotta level, you gotta get quartz and attach it to your pea organ to level up. <laughs> the fucking stupidest. I love it. It's so dumb. So, yeah. So, what do we have here? Increased pulse cells. Probably the best thing to do. More fable slots, more stagger. cells. <clears throat> increase stagger duration one. It enhances the stagger attack of charge attacks. This is perfect. I don't even need I don't even need to look twice. That's perfect. I wouldn't feel okay activating my P organ with Geppetto watching. He knows. That's why he put it in here and it's this big so you can't go anywhere else. He knows. He just looked at me like, Pinocchio, are you activating your P organ again? Yes, father. 
I know because I can smell it. It makes a smell that only I can smell. Me, Geppetto, your father. <laughs> All right, let's go beat up the big guy. This might actually be faster, I can't remember. Bunny, is he here? He just sneaked through again. We've had light visits from text tonight. Checkers. See if we can get him. Did he come running right away? He doesn't care. So I'm out here. Yeah, this is definitely the fastest way to get back to this. Oh my god, I got stuck on the fucking machinery. The scenery. Heal, heal, heal. I was so panicked about not dying in that second that I fucking ran away and forgot. I didn't even notice what I picked up. I, I have no idea what I got from that fight. He hopped in and out like a rogue to impress me, Raz. <laughs> Checkers did. <laughs> kind of waddled in and hopped out afterward. That's how he do. I never really feel empathy pain, but this one hits me right in my bad knee and ankle. Poor demo bot. Yeah, he got... He got taken out, poor guy. That was it for him. I'm running over there. Right, I guess I'm just gonna go through this little like, space. Oh, I do, I do. Oh, 
Oh yeah, Glaive is it, man. You get smelly mouse clothes. Oh, they. Oh, I am being glowy. What is that? Woo! Best of luck to you, my... <laughs> Take care. Alright, you guys are pricks. I get it. I get it. You were assholes the whole time. Fine, though. I didn't expect much else. Bastards. The Navy. We make tomorrow. Ever had your brains bashed in by a puppet? Do you want to? Join Venigni. Daddy. Probably go and level up real quick because I have stuff. I don't know what the fuck I picked up from that guy. I should probably double check to see if I got anything interesting. Weapons. I didn't even get a soul from that guy. Broken hero and the parade leader. I think I got a quartz from him. Oh, that's fine. Oh, don't destroy the fucking handle, you psycho. Gesture will actually do stuff though. Quartz, go use my quartz. Come down here, level up. Go fucking punch the shit out of the last boss and hopefully beat it before the end of the night. Sessions. Oh, 
if I get one more of these, then I get it. That's right. I use the charge attack a lot. Damage. Enhances discharged pulse cell charging on a fatal attack. That or less stamina. We stamina. And now I got another pulse cell too. And these are more pulse cells. Rising dodge enables dodging one on the ground. <clears throat> Add an amulet slot. Retain guard regain. Retains a certain amount of guard regain when receiving damage. Hmm. I just had a kilogram of pasta and now I gotta make four massive protein cakes with eggs. That way I can carry Femboy and huge bicep. Alright, <laughs> fair, fair, fair enough. I need to start eating way more protein too. I was just at the gym today, like, selling myself short. Nice bounciness. I'll use my power. Mind being light, light, but I like hitting harder, better. I actually completely quit creatine after what he said about your doctor's visits. <laughs> uh, and shout out to Sweet Chase, get more bunny cams. I wish he was coming in here more. So you know, it's up to him. It's when you work with an animal, you know, you're up to the, uh, the you're on the animal schedule. But yeah, like, I don't know, I know creatine is the thing that, like, pro fucking bodybuilders and shit use, but my doctor was like, don't do it. <laughs> she was very fucking serious about it, so I just stopped, and I didn't notice that big of a difference. And my one friend that I talked to that was, like, into bodybuilding and stuff, he's like, are you doing steroids? I'm like, no. He's like, are you trying to like get to olympic levels of athleticism or like being in a mr olympia or something i was like not really it's like then why are you fucking taking creatine like don't do that to your liver if you're not doing like perfect diet and shit and drinking like a billion gallons of water and like doing every other aspect of your life perfectly like adding creatine onto it is like just not worth it for you uh, in the long run, apparently i mean you know anybody can do what they want though there's definitely weird shit that stopped happening. Yeah, who knows? Uh, I had all sorts of problems that I was trying to work around health-wise when I was still drinking all the time. Now, I wasn't like an alcoholic by a fucking, like a true alcoholic by any any shape or fucking, you know, any measurement. But, like, I did have all kinds of issues. I had a bunch of stomach problems is actually the biggest thing. Like, I had, like, fucking issues, man. Uh, that would pop up here and there, and I was like, man, I gotta fucking, like, what is this? Maybe I'm allergic to this, maybe I'm allergic to that. I was like, no, man, you're fucking drinking like a goddamn fish. Get that guy. Goddamn, I should've just ran down here. I appreciate the old school fucking, like, full-on klaxon alarm. Waken a specter with a star fragment. I just can't not use a thing that's in the game. I don't know if it's like cheating or what. Oh, this is cool. Dude, wearing a full head mask is definitely the way to go. That shit's so fucking cool. I especially appreciate that you have an armor thing, you know, like an armor set 
a shit that doesn't really change your appearance that much, or at all, possibly. Is this just fucking Cinder Carla's thing again? Like, oh damn. But like, uh... But you still have all this other stuff so you can, like, equip cool shit. <gasps> oh, shit! King of Puppets. I got deer not diagnosed with IBS when I started drinking energy drinks daily at like 15 or 15 years ago. I don't think I have irritable bowel syndrome. No, it's probably just like the fucking caffeine shit, man. One thing I noticed um, after I cut back on the drinking to zero was um, my need for and tolerance of Salty foods like decreased a lot. Like I used, to, there's a lot of things that I used to eat, and I'd be like, "Oh yeah, this is fine." And now I eat it, and I'm like, "Oh, there's so much fucking salt in this," and it's probably just from like you know having too much like juice in you, so to say. I didn't bring it. I didn't bring it. Something. something big ways join us. That was a fucking, that was kind of a prick thing for you to do right there. That was too. That was, that was, that was not okay. Not okay for you to do that. This is probably, well, you know, I still have like half an hour tonight. I could probably beat this boss, but this might be a boss into the next day. Salt is necessary for firing neurons. It's true, I still like eat salty stuff, you know. But like, my god. It's wild how like much I've just noticed like there's like a little too much salt or something in, in, in any kind of food. Ah. I also feel like less uh, less inclined to like have to uh, season stuff. I mean, still season like, you know, I mean, literally with salt. I didn't get a single fucking block on that. We fight for humans, why can't you see it? Maybe uh, my body craves salt on coffee because brain wants to work faster. Fair enough. Yeah, I stopped buying sugar altogether as well as anything prepackaged with oils. Control mainly fault, fat, salt, and sugar. Yeah, I mean, those are like the three things. Like, your body really needs them all. And so, like, you know, when you can get them, like, the cravings hit. And, like, when they hit, they hit. But also, like, uh, if you're eating unhealthy shit, then it's going to be, like, really, like, extra fucking dosing. Learn his ways, join us. You're a real fucking bastard, you know that? Why am I attacking? Why am I attacking? I got that second one, but it still damaged me. And for the first time in my life, I can really taste how toxic stuff is. You can get all those things in absolute crystal meth quality. Yes, uh, like certain types of, like I used to love prepackaged snacks, you know, like um, I don't know if you have them in the Netherlands specifically, but like Hostess cupcakes and shit, you probably have some variant of it, you know, prepackaged plastic snack cakes and things. They used to be like one of my go-tos when I was like younger. Like, and I mean even like into my early 20s and shit, and I was like, man, I need a fucking snack to beat me a fucking up or whatever. 
and then now I taste those things and I can like I can taste the like funk that's inside of them like the, the, the non healthy parts. Damn it. Damn it. Double damn it. thought so this is the foco guy right here i thought he was like a i thought he was gonna be further on down the line smoking is kind of like that too you can smoke fresh raspberry leaves or whatever and never get a dry mouth and then when you smoke a cigarette which is basically like worse than mcdonald's your gums in fact yeah uh, i used to smoke too and it's like the cigarettes specifically like it's almost like there's really not that much like of the normal like kind of nicotine because if you have like a fresh tobacco or something it's still got something you know it's it's still like technically bad for you all over but like there's something about the cigarette shit specifically where it doesn't hit anywhere near as hard as like a, as a uh, like a cigar or something or even dip oh, me. I blocked that I swear to god I hit that time Come on. This is not happening. Dude, I swear to God. Dude is just hitting me with a fucking engine block over and over and over again. I wonder if this isn't the best uh, tool for him. This is like, this is a fire-based attack thing. But it's also one of my highest level weapons, but like, unironically, like, uh, like, electric or something might work a little bit better. Let's try it for a second. It's wild how, like, weirdly bad it stinks. I swear to God. Oh, I guess I did block. He just went straight through me. Ate straight through my guard. Yeah. This is going to be ass beat central for a little while. get the little person to help me out here and I think if I do that it'll be like a breeze I kind of do want to try it on my own
fuck me, I hit the wrong goddamn button. I didn't heal and I, I hyper attacked. This guy's unique. Looks like that robot point and click puzzle game from the 2000s. The 2000s. But then can't wait for a boss to move. Good luck with that. I mean, for real. He's... It's all of the biggest, like, wind-ups ever. It's absolute fucking madness. I am making, like, serious headway, though. I'm figuring it out pretty quick. The trick with the glaive is, like, it's a big-ass weapon, and so it feels like you should have the, like, impetus to hyper-attack with it. But you actually need to be extremely patient, especially with a boss like this. You can punish a boss that doesn't attack a lot, or any anything that doesn't attack a lot, but you have to. It's got hyper active. Don't do that. What? Oh, he kicked me? You fucking ass. You didn't do any of those moves a second ago. Fuck me. <laughs> oh, he's grabbing his fucking dick. Shit, shit, I'm dead. Oh, I took... I, I was so stupid for attacking during there. I'm getting him, though. I blocked, like, 65% of all the things I got hit with last time. I'm talking shit, so I'm gonna get hit with all of them this time. That's fucking... That's dead serious, buddy. The boss run. Whoa, the boss run. This one actually, this game actually feels like I would want to do a new game plus on it. Like, pretty... Gracious, great balls of fire. Oh. 
We've got like one or two tries left on this. It's gonna be time to pack it up. Pack it up, buddy. I am cheat. Like, who is this guy? Harder, I think, with this dude here. this guy yet. Tyler, I think his pee organ's on fire and it makes him strong. You are not incorrect. Summon is of dubious, dubious help. Shit. This is definitely the first, like, real big time difficult boss fight. He hits so hard. I wish there were some additional bosses to go, like, mess around with. Screw around this guy. I might have just want to try to. How you hit me, or what you hit me with.
I do about that? Is this fucking armored core again? This is fucking armored core. This dude started fucking shooting at me. The guy just pulled a fucking gat, bro. Yeah. All right, this is gonna be my last attempt for tonight. I'm definitely not gonna beat him, but we will for sure be resuming here tomorrow. Hopefully, I can get a bunch of work done and get some goddamn videos out. Well, that was fun. I'm going to wrap it, wrap it, wrap, wrap, wrap it, wrap it up.